Hello, welcome to CSC. I'm your host, Jay Howard. I have with me your favorite co-host, Jerron Bland. Jerron, are you there? Yeah, I'm here, Jay. How you doing? I'm good. Let's talk about Lynn's sanity. Is he the truth? I think, I don't think he's really the truth. I think he's going to come back to Earth. He's going to come back to Earth? Where is he at now? <laughs> I mean, Where is he at now? These first 10 games have been sort of out of this world, but I think now that the Knicks are getting everybody healthy, I think he's not going to have the ball in his hands and have the opportunities to put up the numbers he has in his first 10 games. But you're thinking backwards, ass backwards, to be honest. This man is averaging, like, in these 10 games, like 24 points, like nine assists, four rebounds, and probably five or six turnovers. But I think he had improved with that because – when you get the better players coming back, they're not going to turn the ball over. They're going to catch those passes. They're going to score when you pass the ball to them. They're going to blow crips and stuff like that. You know, he's been a little bit kind of on the white chocolate side a little bit. You know what I mean? Kind of the wild behind the back passes, all that type of nonsense. But I think that would be corrected. As far as you saying this man not the truth, you crazy, dude. I have not seen anyone in my lifetime come into a game, the first 10 games they put on a show like this, that was previously a nobody considering. I mean, you heard hype with LeBron James in high school, so you kind of expected him to, to um, fill it up a little bit. You know about Michael Jordan, stuff like that, but this guy was a nobody. He was cut two or three times. I think he's the real deal. Now, I'm going to give you one more chance to make it quick. Tell me why he's not, because you really haven't explained why he's not the real deal. Because Carmelo, they, they traded half their team to get Carmelo, and Carmelo needs the ball in his hands, and that's, I think that's Carmelo's team, basically. He's going to take over once he gets back healthy. I agree with you, but the ball is in Lynn's hands right now, and Lynn does his thing when he has the ball. Carmelo is a ball stopper. When the ball gets to him, you don't even. When you pass the ball to Carmelo Anthony, the assist stops. I'm just gonna be honest with you. The assist stops. Nobody gets credit for passing him the ball. I think also Carmelo doesn't defend well, and I think he's a one-dimensional player. But when I look at Jeremy Lynn, Jeremy Lynn has the whole package. He's a defender. He kind of puts him in the mind of Manuel Ginobili with the intangibles. He can rebound pretty good. He has a decent shot. And he can pass the ball. Now, if I was the Knicks GM or Mike D'Antoni, I got to make a real serious decision on who I want to run this team. Is it going to be Jeremy Lin or Carmelo Anthony? I'm going to ask you. I'm going to wrap that part up. Lin or Anthony running the team when Carmelo comes back? Anthony, all day. Oh, my God. You stone crazy. You are insane. You has you have a bad case of insanity, not Lynn sanity. We're gonna move on to the next question because I want Lynn to have the ball for 48 minutes. Real talk. Floyd Mayweather, was he hating on Lynn, man? I mean, he was hating because that's what he does, but I think he has some truth to his comments. I don't think that uh if it was a black player doing this, I don't think it would be as much hype. You know, sometimes I was taught when I was a child. You listen to a person talk first. And what they say, sometimes not worthy of an answer. Floyd Mayweather was a flat-out jackass. Excuse me for cursing at kids for watching this show. That was the most ridiculous, stupid statement I have heard, especially coming from an Afro-American, that know how it is to have a foot on your neck and telling you you can't achieve anything. Floyd just said that out of stupidity because he must not watch basketball. There's no way in the world Floyd should have came out of his mouth and said that. Lynn is the truth. If you look at this man, numbers, 24 points per game in 10 games, 9.2 assists, 4.1 rebounds. And if you want to throw turnovers in there, like I told you before, he's going to fix that. What about the comments from ESPN? What do you think about that? I think that was crazy. I mean, they're a well-known company, established company. They should know that putting that headline out there was going to create, create a stir. So I think, I don't know what they were thinking, honestly. You know, it's sad to me because... Uh, America is racially sensitive, but I think when you are in front of a camera, and especially if you're a public figure that's going to be on television, you have to truly guard what you say because so many people catch those intangible things that you think they won't catch. And we look for the people on the other side of the television to have intelligence. And I don't think that guy had any intelligence saying that. I'm going to be honest with you. You try to have a subliminal comedy and a little sarcasm here and there. But it was caught that time. And I hate to tell you, I think they should they should have fired him. But I think that ESPN better buckle down because it's a huge Asian community that supports ESPN. And I'm telling you, they need to buckle down and they're going to have some lawsuits thrown at them. And I hate, 
I hope I, I would hate if this Lynn Sandy thing because it's fun to me and it's 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 fun to watch and to be a part of it. I hope it flourishes. You know what I mean? Where this guy becomes a superstar, not just an all star, but a superstar. Because I kind of like the guy's character and I love his story. I love the Jeremy Lynn story. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm pulling for you, Jeremy. I hope you come out there. You know what I mean? In the second half of basketball and do your thing. Jerron, give me some numbers for Jeremy Lin on the second half of the season. Give me his numbers. Predict them. For the second half, I with think a, he'll With a help. healthy Knicks team, with a full, healthy Knicks team. With the whole team back, I think he'll average somewhere around 12 points and six or seven assists a game. I think his numbers are going to fall because Carmelo needs the ball, J.R. Smith needs the ball, Lamar needs the ball. They got a lot of people who need the ball on that team, so I don't think he'll put up the numbers he's been putting up in his first 10 games. Now, with those numbers that you just called out, Tony, that's like Tony Parker, Chauncey Billups. You know what I mean? Those are good numbers for a point guard. You know what I mean? I'm going to give them, honestly, I'm going to give them somewhere in the ballpark of 15, eight, eight and a half assists. I'm going to give him about five rebounds. I think the rebounds might go up about five rebounds. And I think the turnover is probably going to drop down to about three a game. You know what I mean? But I think Lynn is the truth. And I can't believe you set up on my show and said that, man. I, I think yeah, you got a, a, a bad case of insanity. Till next time on CSC Sports. Peace. <laughs>